<laughs> Can I just, first, before I do anything else, I just need to show you this. We got Innocent Smoothie. It's all I'm gonna be buying for like the next few months because the Willy app. Such a, but look, look how cute it is. I mean, I can't actually wear it, but I know that all I'm gonna be buying in the next few months is a smoothie, <laughs> these smoothie hats. That's the one, that's the one. What are they called again? Innocent Smoothie hats. <laughs> Because they're just so, so, so cute. I mean, look at it. Look at it. But yeah. And also, it makes me feel a little bit better. Because every time I buy one, 25p goes to, um, that's a good question, age UK. <laughs> so I'll probably be donating like more than £10 at the end of this to age UK by accident. <laughs> but yeah, that, that that's what I'm spending my money on. Cool kid. I mean, it's just... So I thought I'd tell you about when, a couple of weeks ago, when I went to visit my sister at university, she basically, in order to get her friends to tidy up the kitchen, the only way she had to get them to tidy up the kitchen was by telling them <laughs> that I had OCD, so they would have to clean up the kitchen, because otherwise I would have a manic panic attack. <laughs> so yeah, she told all of her friends they were OCD, and she was trying to convince me that I was OCD, because I was thinking, well, I'm the last person that's OCD, okay? <laughs> But I've, um, she lists out a fair few reasons to me as to some OCD behaviours I have shown, let's put it that way. <laughs> and I've come to realise that I may be a tiny little bit OCD. Now, not the proper, like, oh my god, everything has to be clean and germs kind of OCD. The kind of everything has to be organised or in a particular way kind of OCDs. And I thought today... I would show you the three examples as to why I'm OCD. Yay! Trust me, I'm gonna need this if, if we're gonna talk about my OCDs because I will get angered just thinking about people not doing things correctly. Okay, I'm sorry. I know I'm a weirdo, but. Right, numero uno switches. Okay, this is really bad. Okay, so I'm just. Casually walking along the corridor, la di da, happy days, yay! And then, switch. Okay. Why, when people stop hoovering or whatever they've got plugged into there, that they don't turn off the switch is just craziness in my mind, okay? <laughs> because if I see a switch that's gone off along a corridor, I just have to run and switch it off, and it's. Mm, just why? <laughs> and also, the lights, the lights in my house, particularly this room, the kitchen, we have three light switches, as you can see now. So, if I turn off all the lights quickly, this light switch is now on. They control the two lights over there. That's fine. Let's turn them all off again. Okay, so the most right light switch right here controls the four lights over there. Okay, that's fair enough. They control a fair amount of light bulbs, so that's fine. Okay, that one's a reasonable thing. Last light switch. One light bulb. One in the corner of the room where there is nothing. There are just cupboards. Literally everything else is over here, okay? No one needs that corner. But no, they decide to put one switch, which is why the arrangements of the switches must be like this, so that's okay, fine, that corner's dim. But the rest of the room is nicely lit up. Numero dos. Morning routine. Ooh. So yeah, basically this is where I have to do everything in one order when I do stuff, when I get ready in the morning. And if anyone ruins that routine, I will just... I will not be able to function for that day. <laughs> I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. Hey Charlotte, um, I need the shower now so I'm gonna have to get out of the bathroom. I'm sorry, what? You're just gonna, I need, I need the bathroom so you're gonna have to use one of the other six mirrors in the house, okay? <laughs>
And finally, numero tres, colours. So, I have a very weird colour order. Right, so when I say I have a colour order to things, I mean they have to be, colours have to be arranged in this way as shown beautifully by this pack of pens. These, this is the order the pens were originally in, by the way. And basically, since I've started using these pens, everything has to be in this colour order. My clothes, my nail polishes, my revision notes, and it's um just anything that has a lot of colours really, and it overtakes my life a little bit. Notice the colour order is yellow, orange, red, pink, purple, dark blue, light green, dark green, brown, black. I don't know why my voice had to go lower and lower that time. Oh well. So if we just ignore the dresses and the um, dungarees, we start with the red, then the yellow, then the red, then the pink, then the purple. I don't have any purple. Look at that. That's depressing. And then the blue. <laughs> you can see I like blue, green, green, and then browns and greys and blacks and then jeans. So yeah, that's the um, beautiful arrangement. Of my wardrobe! Yeah! <laughs> my mini LCDs! Yay! <laughs> I hope that's made you feel slightly better about your own life. <laughs> and um, if your OCDs are worse than that, then I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. I know that I get... This is about the only thing I get angry about, okay? <laughs> just those little things. They just make me so angry. But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed watching me rage about tiny little things. Hey, right. Sorry, I just looked over at the TV and there's this... Some person might dry hump in the air.